Howdy folks, how are we doing? So we'll be doing a bit of ploughing today. A little bit of ploughing to be doing. We're in, uh, well into November now obviously. Uh, not put a video up for a couple of weeks because we're not only for a week. We went up to, <coughs> went up to uh, well, down near Snowdonia in North Wales there uh, for a week. And uh, uh, it good. First time I've been to North Wales. I've done South Wales many times, and that's uh, <coughs> oh, going to go. Lovely area, that is. Absolutely lovely area. So anyway, we're back at work now, and we uh, went ploughing. <coughs> Notice this plough's got a uh, well, depth wheel on it. <laughs> no, only joking, man. Oh, I'd miss that like that. <laughs> oh, it did make me chuckle there. <coughs> um, anyway, so this video is going to be a little bit about. Um, well, a little bit about John Deere against Spent. This is because. Uh, should be a, a Fenton 724 coming on demo today. Um, um, yes, we've already got a 724, but uh, <coughs> we're going to have a new one. Well, we're going to have it on demo, see if anything has changed under the bonnet. You know, see if they're any better than our one. And um, just see what the new ones are like. So, uh, so yeah, we've got one of them coming. So it's going to be just, <coughs> I thought it would be interesting to see the, what, um, how, how the different, you know, how the 724 uh, compare against this 190. So I know obviously we've got the, the 724's got a, uh, a horsepower advantage. Uh, although this is running in boost most of the time when we're ploughing. Um, but uh, I'm going to use this uphill drag here as a bit of a test. And um, the John Deere is pulling at about 7.5, 7.6 kilometres an hour and doing anything from 36 to 39 litres an hour of fuel. And if you give it another gear, you probably can't hear it, but it can't handle another gear. That's as, that's as far, fast as it'll go up this hill. <coughs> about 7.5, I can say, 7.5k and about. 38, 39, so we're doing 39 litres an hour for a minute. So that's going to be the yardstick to see what the Fent can do compared to that. Like I say, this is um, 190 horsepower, this tractor, although it does boost. I'm not sure what it boosts to, but it does boost. So like, like I say, the computer tells me it's got the boost on at the minute, which it has pretty much all the time at the ground. So uh, I haven't got the, the wheel slip monitors not working at the minute, so I can't give you a, a reading of the wheel slip. But suffice to say, it's it's pointing fairly well. Dip, the clock is dip. Um, I would estimate there's about 20% wheel slip somewhere around that mark. <coughs> We've got. Um, I've got 900 kilogram weight on the front. And uh, so we'll see what the Fed does in, uh, in response. So, see you in a bit. All right, as you can see, the new fence come up, turned up. Well, I say not my new fence, but um, uh, New Fence 724 we've got on demo. Let's see what they're like, see what improvements they've made over the over our old one. <coughs> this one does come in the nicer shade of green. I much prefer this uh, this uh, sort of bright green if you will rather than the other type of sort of dull green that Fent uh, Fent wear. I've tidied the back end up a bit, I've got a hydride top uh, top link on this one. But the um, 
They seem to have simplified the back end here on it. Seems to be more space. Well, the other one's a bit, cl a bit cluttered, so... Uh, yeah, still got the push out hitch on it, which is good. But apart from that, there's not a lot else different. Uh, got a new LED lighting package on it, as you can see. Uh, but apart from that, it's pretty much the um, same as our old one. <coughs> it's got a... Uh, okay, it's just slightly different around here again. It's got a higher tier tier engine in it, you know, cleaner engine in it. <coughs> Sounds a little different, but apart from that, like I say, there's not a lot changed. Let's see what um, <coughs> we'll see what um, this does in comparison to the John Deere. So um, again, not a lot changed in here. It's all pretty much the same. Got a new dash on it, which is a bit nicer, but. Uh, Tells you exactly the same stuff. It's not changed that to that much. Uh, still got the cool box on it. Fairly good passenger seat. Um, this is pretty much the computer is pretty much all the same. All the buttons are the same. So uh, we'll get it going and um, see what it does. Okay, we've got the, so exactly the same um, plow on the back as the John Deere ad. Six for a Vernon LD85 it is. <coughs> now I have come a bit further up the up the hill now. So it's not quite such a it's not quite such a hill as it was. But um, well, it was down there anyway, that it did level off anyway, so the, the John Deere was doing on the level bits, it was doing about 34, 35, 36, and on the uphill sections it was doing sort of 38, 39 litres an hour. Now this, uh, that was at about 7.6k, now I'm currently doing, this is currently set at 8k at the minute, and um, we're doing Give or take about 30, 32 litres an hour. So more efficient than the um, John Deere, but that is, well, it's sort of to be expected, I think. Um, from the gearbox and that, but don't forget this has got more horsepower, it's 240 horse, whereas the John Deere, well, 190 unboosted. I'm not sure what it is boosted, but it won't be. Uh, it won't be up to 240 or so, it won't have a 50 horse power boost on it all the four. So, uh, so it just shows you quite how frugal these are compared to the, well, the power shift gearbox, I'm going to say, because uh, again, don't forget that the, obviously the John Deere is two year old now. This is a brand new tractor. So, um, <coughs> yeah, it's pretty. Uh, Pretty nice, pretty nice. Certainly a nice comfortable seat in it. I think the seat is uh, air conditioned and heated as well if you want it. Um, if I just grab you off here a minute. And uh, you can see, I don't know it's steady enough. Liters an hour there, and um, I can adjust that up and down on the cruise. But for a minute, we'll, uh, <coughs> we'll just spin around at the headland, back up there. thing I do like about the fence, everything's on the joystick. Mm 
no independent brakes on this side. We've got no independent brakes. The other thing to bear in mind um, is that this is set at about uh, 1400 RPM, whereas the John Deere was. John Deere was set at, uh, I had it set at um, 1700, so we're doing 300 RPM less, and the, sort of the engine's just relying on the torque to to, um, to power along. We're not, you know, we're only doing, not to say 13, sort of, you know, it's sorted itself out really, 1340 there. But if we, um, Just the um, cruise controller. See what it does to things. So that's took us up. We're now at 9k, and that's um, yeah, that's took us up to sort of where the John Deere was now on the level, sort of 35. I can hold it steady enough. To be honest, the fence quite happily sitting at this speed. The, the John Deere wouldn't take that extra gear, so um, I couldn't get it. You know, you're stuck in fourth, you go up into fifth, it would handle it for a, a short period of time, but then it would soon bog down and you'd be back into fourth again. So um, that sort of 7.6, 7.7 is its maximum speed. You know, you couldn't get any more out of it. And that's, uh, I guess, was where the, the extra horses are making the difference, so put you back up there. Right, so <coughs> but yeah, nice tool, nice place to spend the day. Nice and quiet in here. I suppose you can hear a lot. Well, I hear a lot of engine noise from the video I would have thought. Starlings with me today. I had some goals, there's a few goals about today, but I had, a, I had probably a couple hundred goals with me yesterday. And the strangers of all, I had a heron as well, which is um, quite odd. And uh, he's not turned up today, I've had him the past couple of days. And uh, he'd come and sit in the furrow. And uh, you'd come up to him and he'd just fly around the back here like all the other birds do and um, sit in the furrow and go, I suppose he'd get some worms. But first time I ever had a heron uh, join me in the field. Well, there you can see there's a few little starlings out there. Munching on some worms, they are. Things to mention before I'm done though. Um, I'm setting up, or I've set up um, a new Facebook page for for the channel. Um, there should be a link uh, in the description, possibly on the video. Um, I've got to figure out how it works first, obviously. Um, but yeah, if you want to, so I'm going to make a bit more use of Facebook and. Um, and uh, keep in touch with you via that a bit more if I can. And, um, so I thought it best to start up a look at you know, the business page sort of thing um, <coughs> and uh, go from there. So check out the Facebook, um, give it a like and all that malarkey, and um, keep your eyes peeled for some interesting stuff coming. So. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a little treat coming fairly soon, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. 
and um, you know what's coming next. Ta-ta!